Samsung's future. What's up? Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Today I am going to talk about something that is quite strange. Will you guys believe the fact that there is a probability Samsung may say goodbye to Android in the near future? As per the recent updates, Samsung phones in the future may not use Android OS, but rather a new operating system that has been under development at Google's labs for a few years. It's called Fuchsia, and as some of you may recall from earlier this year, Samsung was a contributor to the creation of Fuchsia. Now according to a fresh report, Samsung may have taken a step further and opted to abandon Android in favor of Fuchsia. However, this change will not occur anytime soon. According to the Insider, it will take a few years to embrace Google's new open source operating system. It's also too early to say if Fuchsia OS will be accompanied by one UI or another Samsung developed overlay. Anyway, the jump from Android OS to Fuchsia isn't something Samsung came up with on its own. It's all part of Google's grand goal to replace Android with a new platform developed from the bottom up. Unlike Android, Fuchsia uses a new code called Zircon instead of the Linux kernel. Fuchsia is being developed by Google to operate on a broad range of smart devices, including wearables, smartphones, tablets, PCs, and the Internet of Things. As a test run, it was already utilized for the Nest Hub. If Google makes this a reality and pushes Fuchsia to the forefront in the next years, Samsung won't be the first OEM to abandon Android for some, if not all, of its Android devices. Other OEMs will have no choice but to follow or risk being left behind. And since Samsung looks to be participating in the development of Fuchsia, it may have an advantage over its rivals who aren't. Samsung will have a head start on learning the new Fuchsia OS, and this head start might be crucial to the company's continued leadership in the next age. However, the shift will take time, so don't anticipate Android OS to vanish very soon. Fuchsia was able to fix some of the flaws in Android OS, so even if the shift looks frightening, most probably it may be for the best. Apart from that news, there is another rumor suggesting that Samsung is working on a smartwatch with a rollable screen and under display camera. As per the reports, Samsung has submitted a new patent for a wristwatch that has a rollable display and a camera. The website Let's Go Digital was the first to notice the patent and it has been submitted to the World Intellectual Property Organization on June 2, 2021. The submitted patent has had 96 pages of information and design blueprints for a rollable wristwatch. Another feature of the watch mentioned in the patent is the inclusion of an under-display camera and the smartwatch's rollable display seems to have no impact on this under-display camera. Aside from that, as Sam Mobile claims according to insiders familiar with the device's development, Samsung will add a 1TB storage tier for its Galaxy S22 Ultra, and that's twice as much storage as the Galaxy Z Fold 3 offers and four times more than the Galaxy S21 Ultra presently offers. Notably if the S22 Ultra with one terabyte of storage is launched at all, it's probable that it may be limited to Samsung's own shop. The Galaxy S10 Plus, which retailed at $1,600, was the last time Samsung released a smartphone with one terabyte of storage, and it's still unknown how much the S22 Ultra will cost in the same storage tier, although it's expected to be in the same range. That will be all for today guys, but before winding up I have some important news to be announced. Since we have reached the end of the year, I plan to do two special videos on the 30th of this month and on the 1st of January. Right now I'm not going to announce what they are going to be about and I'll leave it for you guys to predict. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.